get your videos in ScreenFlow. That's why you're on this particular video because you want to know how to edit your videos in ScreenFlow. What's up, guys? My name is Keisha Bass. I love to help entrepreneurs learn how to 3X their influence and automate their income with video marketing. So on this channel, I upload videos to help you all do just that. So today's video, guys, I want to talk about how to edit your videos with ScreenFlow. So ScreenFlow is a program that is, is catered to video marketers. I've been using it for a couple of years and I use it to edit pretty much all of my actual videos. Now, I prior to using ScreenFlow, I did use iMovie quite a bit, and I'll do a video if you guys want me to on how to use iMovie to, iMovie to edit your videos as well. Just drop me a comment and let me know, and I'll do that video for you guys as well. All right, so I'm inside of ScreenFlow, and there's a ton of stuff inside of ScreenFlow, but I just wanna show you guys some of the major highlights because I'm editing a video right now for my second YouTube channel. So I do have two YouTube channels that I actually upload videos to. I have a work from home channel, and I also have a channel that's about YouTube video marketing. So inside of actually ScreenFlow, some of the functionality that I use the most, one is gonna be the cut feature, okay? So say you make a mistake inside of your actual video and you wanna cut your mistake, then this is something very, very critical that you wanna use. So let's just listen to this video real quick. So be sure to check out the blog because some of the actual jobs that we find, we don't have the capacity to do a video on all of them. So be sure to check out the thread over at trueworkathomejobs.com. Okay, so if I wanted to cut this video right here, then ScreenFlow has this little, I don't even know what it's called. I would click that right there and it would basically split the video right there. And I can now go and say, okay, I wanna cut the rest of this. So I could go here and I can hit another cut and I can delete this. Now, I'm gonna show you guys this in real time because I do know a cut I'm going to make. If you need to undo something, you just go edit and then you just undo, okay? So let's go back. Work at home, jobs.com. You can come right here and you'll see a new thread that is pinned to the top of the blog. Now, let's talk about Amazon Mechanical Turk, guys. I wanna show you guys what it is, how to get started with it, and, um, and also, of course, you wanna know how do you get paid. So let's get into it. Boom. Okay, so right there, I know I'm going to cut. So I'm going to add a, a intro right about there. Okay, so I'm going to go on over and inside of ScreenFlow, if you want to add more, you know, videos, you come over here, click that last um, icon there, click the plus and you want to go add file. And I know that the file I want to upload is number 17, which is my intro. I'm going to click on open. And it's going to bring that video into this whole repository of videos. I'm going to move this over on the actual line here. So now I'm going to have that right there. You can just move this, your content back and forth. Okay. So like if you wanted to do that, I wouldn't recommend it because you don't want it to be off, but that's how you add it. Now you can see it's not as large as the others. So I do need to make this larger. So I'm going to go over here, click on the first one, and I'm going to make this larger. I just need to click these buttons here and it's gonna automatically scale that out, okay? You could definitely use this, but there's no need because it knows how big it is and you can use that, all right? So let me just show you guys what that looks like. All right. <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna cut that right there because I don't want it to go much longer than that. You don't wanna have a really long intro, you guys. I'm gonna pull this over so it connects. Now, what I like to do is I like to put starting transition so it doesn't, it's not so harsh uh, when it starts. I'll show you guys the difference in that. So undo transition and then let's undo the transition. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Undo add transition. So here's what it would look like, okay? So see how it just like went right into it, but looks like I need to cut this as well. All right, so I need to make some cuts. So let's cut that right there. We can just delete these out, all right? And I'm just gonna push that over and push that over. But let me show you guys what I mean by this. All right, see how it just like, boom, it just goes into it. So if you add a starting transition, it it will it's much cleaner. Okay, so I'll show you guys what that looks like. 
All right. So we're over here. So you see how it's like, it's just not as like, you know, harsh. So it definitely helps or whatever. And so, so yeah, so we can go through, so you can go through your, you know, your video and see where you want to make cuts and stuff like that transitions. And I can kind of see where I made mistakes. And that's something you guys can do as well. Like if you want to be able to quickly identify where you made mistakes, you can do some something like clapping, right? And when you do, it'll create this huge spike right here in the voice. And then you'll know, oh, I made a mistake right there. And you can go right to it or whatever. I didn't do it in this one or whatever, but it does help, especially if you're going to be using a video editor. That way they can actually find your mistakes, you know, pretty easy or whatever. But let's go to the back to the beginning of this because what I want to do is I want to add, I want to add a starting transition on these as well. And one more thing, I want to show you guys how to add these videos, but let's watch this. So what is Amazon Mechanical Turk? That's why you're on this actual video because you're looking for more information on Amazon Mechanical Turk. So welcome back to the channel, you guys. This channel is all about how to make money from home. So, okay, so where are these videos at? I'm glad you asked. If you go over here where you see the little, the last icon here, and you click this icon here, it's gonna take you to a repository of videos. And then what you can do is that you can come in and type in like girl jumping, right? And it's gonna go through and it's going to, you know, look for, you know, what you're talking about. A lot of them are not people of color. So that's something that's like one of the biggest things for me is like they really should add more people of color, but you can get a membership and get more videos that have people of color or whatever. Let's just say like um, Google, right? If you wanted to have like Google in yours and perhaps you wanted to put this video in, you just drag it over onto your screen here. I upload a new video, you're part of the notification squad. Now remember all of the- Okay, and so you can, you'd have to make it larger. So if you come here, make it larger so it's bigger. Those that we post here are actually over on but that's how you add, you know, like the store, like the story blocks basically, or the B roll is what we like to call it. So these are like B rolls that you get to add to your videos. Those are really important because it kind of just breaks up the monotony of a video besides you just talking and talking and talking. It's kind of break things up, right? Also, some of the things I do as well is at the end of my video, I have like an end screen and I just basically downloaded end screen from YouTube and I can add it to my video. So let's go here, plus sign, add file. And we can type in green screen. So no copyright. You want to make sure you get no cop no copyright on your green screen if you're gonna grab it from YouTube. Otherwise, you're gonna be like, yeah, I have to pay for that. So let's go to the end of this video and I'll show you guys how this works. Okay. So I normally just cut it because I don't have it's just too long to be playing, you know. Um, gotta make it larger. So I'm just gonna go here and just hit that. Now also, it is a green screen. This is not gonna be green. So if you come down where it says video filters, click on the plus sign, click on chroma key, and boom, it's gonna change the color to black, right? And so now once you upload your video, you just have to make sure that inside of YouTube, you go to the end screen and add you know, your subscribe you know, face here, and then also what video you want here. I normally just pick the one that's best for, best for YouTube, you know? Um, best for the YouTube viewer, YouTube knows what's best for them. So I normally just put, just select that. And also, as I said, you put an end, ending transition there. So it kind of just ends. Okay. You see how it kind of just goes out like that. Um, another thing, adding music. Okay. So the same thing applies. Click on add file. I normally use epidemic sound. So I know all of my epidemic sound um, music has an ES in it. So let's just go here and we can find some of the epidemic sounds. So here delusional. Okay. I usually like up B stuff. Okay. That one's good. Okay. So we're going to open that one, put that one over there at, to add music, you just drag it down here. And I normally wait until I have all my edits done before I add music because it's just good to do. Okay. So let's just look, listen at this, click on the sound one. And you can turn that volume all the way down because it's gonna probably need to be turned all the way down. So let's go back. So what is Amazon Mechanical Turk? That's why you're on. So you can this hear the music because you're is like very very subtle, and that's what you want. You don't want the music to be blaring where people can't hear you talk, but it's just something subtle in the background. Looking for more information on Amazon Mechanical Turk. So 
Now, what I would do is I'll come here, right, where I have this video thing. I'm going to cut and I'm going to drag that over because I don't need the music playing right there. So, how do you get paid? So, let's get into it. I'm going to add, add an ending transition on these. Okay, let's go back. Let's add an ending there. Get started with it. And, um, and also, of course, you want to know how do you get paid? So, let's get into it. So see how it just like, it just, it's just a better, you know, when you add an ending transition, you guys just makes it more smooth. Right. Okay. So, so this is, you know, for me and editing, this is pretty much the biggest things that I actually do. I mean, and I have to go through here and listen to some edits and some ums and some mess ups that I have or whatever. And I just basically cut them out. Right. I just cut them out and then I'll push it together. So it, you know, fits back together. And that's pretty much all you have to do as far as editing is concerned with ScreenFlow. I'm sure there's like tons of other things that you guys can do. And ScreenFlow has some amazing tutorials that can help you guys do that. I wanted to show you guys the basics of editing your videos with ScreenFlow. As I said, if you guys want me to do a video about how to edit with iMovie, just drop me a comment. Let me know. I'll do you guys a tutorial on how to edit with iMovie because that is where I started. And I did start editing videos on my phone. So iMovie is super cool. It's free. If you have a, um, an iPhone, it's actually free. And it's very, very good. All right, guys. So listen, drop me a comment. Let me know if you guys want me to see, you want to see that next video. Until next time, I want you guys to be seen. I definitely want you guys to be heard. And most importantly, I want you guys to go and get paid on purpose.